We're going to St. Pete for the day. We made it to St. Pete and we're starting off our morning by going to an indie flea market. I'm so excited. I've never been to this, so I'm looking forward to it because it's the last one of the season and then they like take a break. So it's perfect time to come and check it out. I just love coming to St. Pete because there's just something always going on no matter what day it is of the week. There's just always an event and this just like popped up on my Instagram. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go because it just seems really cool. There's a bunch of vendors and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. So let's head in. My mom's here with me and we got these cookies. We had to come back to the car because we didn't want to carry them. They're super heavy. Here's what they look like. They're like, oh. mm. <laughs> wait, mm. I wasn't done. Here's what they look like. It's called Mama's Fat no, Cookies. No, Matt's Fat Cookies. Oh, I thought it said Mama's Fat Cookies. No, Matt. But look how hefty they are. Banana pudding. Put it in your hand. Feel how heavy it is. It's like a pound. <laughs> <laughs> then this is like Funfetti. This is Snickerdoodle. This is Mark's. I want to try this so bad. And this is like Oreo. We should try this one first. And it says they're better if you heat them, but we're still going to try them. We're just a piece. <laughs> mm. They'd be better warmed up. I see why. Mm. They're good. They just need warmed up. Be ready. No, they're so good. They're better than <laughs> crumble. We're gonna get fat from these. <laughs> <laughs> More cookies? <laughs> I think I'm getting a strawberry latte too. Oh, <laughs> We're actually getting ready to leave, but I want a drink. Guys, I got a croissant and look, it's overflowing. <laughs> it's heavy too. Back in the car and I wanted to do a review of the boba. This is what it looks like. We both did a strawberry latte, regular milk, and then strawberry popping boba. I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but let's just give it a try. I've never had boba, actually, that's a lie. I've had boba once two years ago. I think we should stir it though. Wait, I'm kind of nervous. I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10. It kind of just tastes like strawberry milk, but it is very pretty I love the color. Anyways, now that we're done with the flea market, it was so freaking cool. And I highly suggest if you live in the St. Pete area or you just like live really close to St. Pete, like Tampa area. And if you've never been to the indie flea market, you should definitely go because it's just really cool. Like the vendors were like thrift stores. There was a lot of vintage pieces and I got a bunch of stuff only because it was really cool. And this place isn't opening again, I think until after summer, but it's two o'clock. We got here at like 11 30 so we were here for like a while it was really good but i got a lot of stuff and i'll do a haul of everything that we got i got actually when we get home but the reason why this lady came because we are really close to Pasa girl beach it's six miles away and Pasa girl if you know is like a beach that has a bunch of shells that's where like, all my shells came yeah from, pretty much and we used to live like <clears throat> what it was like 30 minutes from Pasa girl maybe yeah 25 on a good day with a good drive though because you drove yeah the this is where we went all the time and then we're we're also gonna go to Brass Monkey. That's where we go all the time to get some lunch. Brass Monkey. Because we haven't ate. Oh, my croissant. I wanna try it. Let me try it. My dessert after lunch. There was a regular chocolate croissant, which I love, and then there was a strawberry glaze, which was intriguing. So I wanted to try it because I've never had one. This is what it looks like. It looks like a strawberry glazed donut. I'm just gonna take one bite. It's really good. <laughs> I need one more. You needed more? Mm hmm. 
a croissant. A croissant? Oh my god, it's so good. This is a 10 out of 10. That's so good. But anyways, long story short, we're gonna go to the beach. We brought a change of clothes and we're gonna look for some seashells, but first we're gonna get lunch. Finally got parking. It literally took me <laughs> an hour. Change into this free people dress. She changed. Now we're gonna go get lunch. It's now 3.30. That's how long oh, it took. Dinner. Dinner. Finished lunch, now we're on the beach, and the tide is so low. Look at all the people looking for shells. Like, there's literally someone out there and it stinks. <sighs> Look at all, holy crap. There's so many shells. She already found two. Are there people in it? Uh, Wait, that one's empty. I think so, yeah. There's so many abandoned tulips. Like oh my all, gosh, <gasps> there's one right here. They all have stuff in it. Shells that have creatures in them, you can't keep them. These are called Look banded tulips. <laughs> there's so many. They're so pretty too. I did find a piece of sea glass. Guys, look, it's a sea urchin. I don't know if he's alive or dead. This is a dead one. Look at all the shells that I found. They're all empty. Guys, look, it's not a starfish. He's alive. He hasn't moved yet, so I can't feel him tickling me. <gasps> Wait, he's gripping. Look at it. Look at it. Look at his legs. They're gripping on my hands. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's put him back. He's so pretty, though. Look, he's like blue. We found another starfish. He's alive, too. He's smaller than the other one, and this one's purple, not blue. We are back home from St. Pete, and I'm honestly so sad because I just love being up there. It's like my second home. I just love St. Pete so much. But since we're home, I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got today at the Indie Flea Market. I'm actually so excited to show you guys. I could not pass up not getting anything. First and foremost, I finally got my first ever Aaron made little beach bag. I've been wanting one of these for so long, but look how cute this is. I'm literally obsessed. And as far as clothing, it was just so cool. Like every Every vendor was like its own personal thrift store. It was honestly just like my cup of tea because you guys know I love thrifting. The first thing that I got is this Mickey and Co little t-shirt. Look how cute. Look at Mickey. <laughs> He's so small. But I just thought this was really cute. And I plan on going to Disney World in May. And I don't really have anything Disney. And I'm gonna wear this like all the time. Look at the tag. The next thing, my mom was like, this would be really cute on you. This is the first thing that I bought at the flea market. It's so adorable. I thought this would be really cute with like a pair of jean shorts and like a white tube top underneath. My mom has an eye for some good clothing. I got a free sticker. Last but not least, I feel like some people are gonna hate it. Some people are gonna love it. But when I saw this, I was like, wait, this is just so fun and like I've never seen a skirt like this before but, like look how cute this is I don't know I just think it's so pretty with just the different type of fabrics like this purpley lace this material I don't know I just thought it was really fun and I just love like the patchwork I'm very excited about this and it's definitely gonna be worn for sure my mom ended up getting a shirt for Mark and then also a ring and I also got a ring I don't have it on right now because it's in my wallet but it's like a gold like dainty ring pretty simple there's just so many different vendors from jewelry to just riff fenders and everything was just so freaking cool like from t-shirts to hoodies but that's everything that i got from the indie flea market here's the skirt on i think it's so cute you might not think it's cute but i do <laughs> just all of the little detailing is so pretty i am so excited to style this here is this top here's the mickey shirt it's so cute i love it i'm so happy that i got this kind of crazy this was the first shirt i looked at when we arrived at the flea market i didn't get it because we only had looked at like one vendor and I was like maybe we should just look around before I just like instantly buy something. I would say an hour and a half later I come back to the vendor it was still there I was like okay it's a sign so I got it I'm so happy that I did. <laughs> 